Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. It is a nice and sunny, warm day today. I've ridden all the way out to this little creek, but it doesn't look too shallow. It is actually really deep looking right here. I have fished it before, but further upstream behind a dam. I've caught crappie and bass and other things. Now, we're gonna be looking for different species today. We're gonna to use different methods. I'm pretty excited because I've always wanted to check out this spot, but I was worried on my way here that it would turn out to be too shallow to fish. And it is not. So let's get right into it. Of course, this is one of these places where it's easier to get to by the bike because we've got a busy highway up here that you can't park on. So it's gonna be kind of noisy, but hopefully it'll pay off. All right. First thing we want to do is get us a piece of cut bait. We're going to drop shot a little bit of red wiggler on a size six Aberdeen. I think this might end up being somewhat of a snaggy spot. I see a lot of wood in the water right here, but I'm not too upset about that. That's just what you're going to find when you're out in East Texas. Lots of wood in the water. They call it snag city for, for a reason. All right. So I Walked along here soaking that red wiggler a good bit and no bites. It's gonna be tougher than I want it to be. <sighs> this is right after the uh, Arctic blast, so, but you gotta keep going. You gotta keep doing it. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that soak there for a little bit and get another line going. I walked this way under here and scouted it out. This is really shallow up under here. The deep part stops right here in front of us and it goes shallow till you get to the other side of the bridge and then it's not as deep over there. It doesn't look, it's a little tricky getting over there. We're gonna focus over here for now. Let's see what else we can do here. It is early afternoon. So in a couple hours, maybe something will turn on. The fire will start. And this is what we're gonna get going here. Cinco's, the darker the better because this water is dirty. We're throwing this weightless on a three aught by Gamagatsu. Oh, it is nice and deep here. Too cold, too dirty. Here we go. Yes. Oh. Oh, man, I just wasn't ready for that. I wonder what that was. I was starting to feel really down about being here because it was kind of a hard ride to get here and it's just so dead. So the water has got to be really cold. It's really dirty. There's a, there's a county lake right above this real close. And all this runoff is from that county lake and that county lake was previously frozen, probably still mostly frozen and thawing. So yeah, you know this water is really cold. That felt like a shoe pick. There's a lot of shoe pick, you know, both in in this creek wow i was about to leave too seriously was thinking about leaving can't even get a piece of cut bait here it's just the same thing over and over i'm trying to get the cinco <clears throat> around the corner of this brush that's hanging out what's this Ah, oh, felt like something had was just sitting out there with the Cinco in its mouth. Nice, got that back there where I want it, almost up underneath and over a deadfall. feel a little tension, but it doesn't feel like a bite. I'm coming through something. This water is so cold. There is a possibility of a fish just picking up the bait and sitting out there with, its, with, it, with the bait in its mouth and not really doing anything. So it wouldn't feel like a bite really to me. It would just be some tension. Oh, there's a lot of stuff coming through there.
Here we go. Got him. Still got him. Yes. Oh, look at you. Look at that. Nice. That is a decent bass. That is really decent. Oh, yeah, to think I was about to leave. Yeah, you're right. Check him out. Really close to two pounds. I hope you can see that. Let's walk forward to get out of the sunshine a little bit. 1.85. Yeah, you're right. All right. There you go, buddy. Thank you. One fish is nice, but two is a trip worthwhile. I'm not complaining. That was pretty decent fish. Here we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Two fish is much better than one. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's the... About the same size. Oh, it's a little better. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Well, I take that back. He is not as big as the first one, but close. He's 1.46. Not bad for a pretty cold creek that's dirtier than anything. Not bad, not bad. There you go, man. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, look at that. So I didn't get to do everything I wanted to here, but I came, I faced the bad conditions, and I won. Water's really cold because everything above it is melting still. Water's really dirty because there's a lot of runoff. Fish are still knocked back a little bit, but we pulled two nice ones out of here. They're pretty decent, pretty decent for the day. Now, I think I developed a love-hate relationship with this place while I was here. Well, maybe I'll change that when I come back when conditions are a little better, when it's warmer. Since I've been here, when, when those big trucks come across the bridge, stuff is flying off the bridge and hit me like dirt and rocks. Not fun. All right, time to go home. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.